are you ready to go to Apple Acres to see our friend Cubby Bear? Let's call him together. One, two, three, Cubby! Hi, Cubby. Cubby, is something wrong? Cubby? Uh, I was just checking to make sure everything was okay. B -b 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 Boys and girls, have you uh, heard a loud, scary, scary noise? No, we haven't heard any loud or scary noises, have we, Cubby? Oh, okay. I feel better now. Yesterday, Timothy and I heard a scary noise, and I don't like scary noises. Can you tell us what happened, Cubby? Timothy wanted to go camping with his family, but it was raining outside, so Timothy's mom said he could make a tent and camp in his room. Timothy asked me to come along too. I've never been camping before, but it sounded like fun. Campy, camping is a lot of fun. I packed two shiny red apples for a snack and hurried into Timothy's room. Timothy even had a flashlight for us. Cool. Did you have a tent? Yes. We made a tent with a sheet and two chairs. As soon as it was dark, we climbed into the tent. I ate my apples while Timothy made funny shadows on the wall with his flashlight. We were having so much fun, but then we heard a strange noise. It sounded like something was scratching on the door. Did you know what it was? No, but I was really, really scared. I thought it was a tractor at the door. Tractors have big wheels that scare me. Hmm. I don't think a tractor would scratch at the door, and I'm sure Timothy's dad wouldn't drive the tractor in the house. Yes, you're right, but I was still scared. Then Timothy decided to go to the door and see what it was. Wow, Timothy is a brave boy. What was it? Well, I'm not supposed to tell you this week. The cubbies need to read the story in their handbook at home. But I will say that it wasn't very scary at all. Phew, that's good. But I still don't like <coughs> scary noises. Are you sure you haven't heard any scary noises around here tonight? No, we haven't heard any scary noises, have we, Cubbies? <sighs> well, that's good to know. I'll go tell Timothy everything is okay. Okay, Cubby. We'll see you next week. Bye. We'll see Cubby and his friends again at Apple Acres next time. Bye. Cubby Bear and Timothy had fun when they were camping in their tent, but then they heard a scary sound. Cubbies, have you ever been afraid of a sound or something else? What happened? Things like a thunderstorm, an insect, or even a loud barking dog, or even an imaginary monster under our bed can be scary. Do you know that even adults can be afraid sometimes? I sometimes am afraid of thunderstorms, but then I remember that God is with me and is protecting me, and it helps me not to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid because Jesus is the Good Shepherd. When we trust in Jesus as Savior, we become just like his little sheep. Like a shepherd loves his sheep, Jesus loves each one of us. He takes care of us like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. From the Bible, we learn that sometimes a shepherd had to lead his sheep through a dark valley. I'm sure that the sheep heard some scary noises in the valley, but they didn't have to be afraid because their shepherd was with them. Their shepherd always kept his staff in his hand. A staff looks like a long pole with a hook on the end. If the sheep got too close to the end of a hill, the shepherd would use the hook on his staff to gently pull the sheep back to safety. 
The shepherd always watched over the sheep to keep them safe from danger. Do you see anything in the picture that could hurt the sheep? Do you see the wolf in the picture? Shepherds would also carry a rod, which looks like a thick stick. If a wild animal, like a wolf, came to attack the sheep, the strong shepherd would use his rod to fight off the wolf. Other times, he threw the rod at the wolf to scare the wolf away. The shepherd would do anything to keep his sheep safe. He would even get hurt or die if he had to, to save his sheep. He loved his sheep so much. At the end of the day, the shepherd would use his rod to count the sheep as they moved into their pen. He made sure no sheep was lost. Can you help me count the sheep in the picture? One, two, three, four. Our verse this week talks about the shepherd's rod and staff, and it reminds us of our good shepherd, Jesus. Let's say our verse together. Psalms 23, 4. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Let's say that again. Psalms 23, 4. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. One more time. Psalms 23, 4. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This verse reminds us not to fear, which means not to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid because Jesus is always with us. Sometimes scary things happen. A dog might bite. A bee might sting. You might get lost from your mom or dad for a little while in the store. But when these things happen, what can you do to remember that Jesus loves you and he is with you? Yes, you can pray and ask Jesus to help you. You can also say your Bible verse out loud to yourself or say, Jesus is with me. Let's say that again together. Jesus is with me. Again, Jesus is with me. Let's pray and thank Jesus our Good Shepherd, for loving us and being with us always. We never have to be afraid. Dear Jesus, we just thank you and praise you that you are our Good Shepherd, Lord. You are always with us, and we need not fear anything, for you are always, always with us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me at Cubbies. Until next time, goodbye.